leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Yeah. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Craig, Scott, and Dan. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining. And most importantly, thanks for drinking along. I am Greg. Over there, that is Scott. Of course. And that is Dan. Hey, hey, hey. At least it looks sort of like Dan. I mean, when, yeah, from about, what, the nose up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's looking clean like a baby I over know, there. man. Don't wow. don't recognize him. I think it was that 0% beer. Oh, <laughs> just oh, man. Man. It just yeah. started, little clumps were getting, showing up <laughs> yeah. on my pillow. <laughs> oh, man. I lost my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had a full fro before that. So, uh, Thanks, everyone, for joining. Like I said, our shout-outs to Boardman, Oregon, for wow. being our top listening city of last week. Boardman, Oregon. Never heard of it before. But uh, wow. thanks for listening. And uh, don't forget to uh, hashtag what? The Boardman gets paid. What is that? It's Kawhi Leonard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to hashtag show us your beers and rate and, subs- uh, rate and subscribe on Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts. English is already hard iTunes and all that good stuff. Uh, before we get into our first beer, which I think we so desperately need, we are being joined by an old friend who hasn't been around since uh, the New Year's episode. And boy, was that a clusterfuck. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, thanks for joining. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thanks, guys, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, hope you uh, enjoy some beer with us, and uh, maybe you can class this place up a little bit. I almost came in sans clothes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, it's a sans clothes guy. <laughs> I'm surprised he brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, uh, since you're here and since you're introduced, let's stop pussyfooting around. Yeah. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Having ourselves a beer, indeed. This one comes by way of uh, my Tavor subscription. This is Anchorage Brewing Company's Crazy Rays IPA. 6.8% 70 IBUs, a 4.04 on Untapped, and 91 on Beer Advocate. Still getting used to it being back to the old numbering system. Uh, it says it's an IPA brewed with Simcoe, Mosaic, Galaxy, and Citra hops, just like every other IPA. Dry hopped with Mosaic. Not a big description, but lots of hop flavor what do you guys think of this beer? oh man you know what i always like about a beer or something well it's Cold. rare yeah but like when you see when you pour it out and then the foam kind of like takes like a like a like a form or something uh-huh. like that like it's like a sculpture almost oh yeah oh yeah. my god it kind of had that like pointy uh yeah yeah it's like the washington monument of foam yes <laughs> i got the virgin mary Oh, <laughs> holy beer, Batman. <laughs> holy beer. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't, and maybe this is my schnoz, but I don't get a whole lot of smell on this bad boy. All right, the rooms are green. Good. It's not just me. I don't get a whole lot of smell, but the flavor sure is fantastic. Yeah, it is. Mm. A lot of hoppy goodness. Definitely some tropical fruits in there. Also getting a fair bit of that citra. I don't know. What say you, Brian? I think it tastes boozier than it actually is. Yeah, it's only six eight. But if you ask me, like oh, I don't yeah. know, eight percent. I'll co-sign that. Yeah. yeah, it tastes like it's got a wallop, but apparently it doesn't. I mean, it's no, uh, it's no crusher in the alcohol department, but that's true. It's kind of in between. It's middle of the road, right? As untapped, but it ta- it tastes like you know. Hey, take it easy. Yeah, <laughs> take it easy. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> very nice on a hot summer day. Scott, what say you? Well, what I always say about a beer is I like it best when it's in my hand. Mm. And, but yeah, no, I love it. It's good. Followed by cold. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, but it helps. And has alcohol in it. There you go. No, <laughs> no zero percent shit. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> that was so oh, great. God. It's a nightmare. <laughs> you guys didn't yeah, listen to our Will Scott. I think it was last episode. Will Scott so, Boy. Yeah. And, uh, that was pretty fantastic. I didn't sleep for days after that. No, <laughs> his body started going into shock. Mm. It was a disaster. Ended up in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, all right, we got a lot to get to uh, on this show. I escaped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
crotch talk. I have my San Diego trip to recap. All right. Um, yeah. We have a new contest with a uh, partnership with 818 Brewing out here in, in SoCal. So oh, that'll right be on. fun. A little bit of sports news. And by sports news, I mean there's no sports news. So we're going to play a rousing round of what does Dan know? All right. Oh, good. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a hot minute. Uh, we have a listener email to get to, of course, bullpen beer and some booze news. So uh, let's crack right in to some crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, real quick, I just want to mention that last weekend was Integrin's eighth anniversary. Stopped by, had myself oh. some eighth anniversary Pilsner. It was delicious. They also came across a keg of the sixth anniversary rum barrel aged. Uh, God, was it Doppel, I think? That was delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. Had myself a little bit of that. We've all discussed that uh, Integrin is right next to the police station. As we were driving up to the 8th anniversary, there was a cop just parked right there oh, watching people come down. I was man. like, ah, going to keep this one light. Yep. Going to keep it light. So I didn't drink too much. That's scary. It is a little freaky. It's like, go away. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy myself. Dang. What yeah. a buzzkill, dude. It really, really was. It was Ooh. really unfortunate. So uh, anyways... San Diego trip. Oh, yeah. Woo! So for those that don't know, went to San Diego for our bachelor slash bachelorette weekend. Went down on Thursday. Friday, we went to the Padres game. They had a, a beer fest outside the gates. So we started that. Well, we started at like noon, but mm. really started at the uh, beer fest. And we got there a little later than intended. There was some traffic, whatever. So by the time we got there, we had about an hour of beer fest. And the way it goes is you go up, it's $5 a beer, but you have to buy tickets ahead of time. So we go up to like the little ticket line, which was long as fuck. I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not going to go back in line. That's silly. Eight tickets, please, <laughs> for me and the lady. And I knew like she might go through two, three if she finds like some Kolsch or something. You know, I was like, I'm getting at least five or six beers out of this, and I did. All I right. think I ended up with six of them because somebody else in our group bought eight for themselves, thinking like <laughs> they'd pound it. And the lines are just too long, so they're handing out tickets. And oh dang, uh, we're trying to to pound them as quickly quickly as we can, so we don't have to buy so much beer inside the stadium. But then we did we made the mistake of getting so drunk that we kept buying beer inside the stadium. Oh man! <laughs> so it was a great night. I forget a good couple hours of it. Uh, at one point, uh, um, Big Dick Nick from the Booze League was so drunk that uh, Shannon, the lady friend, handed us both one water and said, "Fucking share this." <laughs> Oh, shit. So I don't remember this at all, but apparently him and I are sharing one bottle of water. No straws? No straws. Oh, man. Oh, uh, man. So that was cute. We uh, went back to the house and partied it up. Then the next day was the actual like parties where the girls went on theirs and the guys went on, on ours. So for the fellas, we went to North Park and uh, went and had a hearty breakfast at like the world's worst breakfast joint. Like it was, a, I can't remember the name. Norms? So, no, <laughs> it was basically like a non-chain Norms. It was awful. I was really hoping it'd be good because it's like old school and we could like load up, you know, get a mm -hmm. base going. The only good thing that happened there was this old lady who we don't know her name. We just named her Sandy because she looked like a Sandy. She was talking to us and like we weren't paying attention. We didn't realize she was talking to us. And she goes, hey, what's up? And we're like, oh, hey, sorry. And Nick said something stupid about like, oh, we were just dancing. And she goes, oh, you like to dance? Do you know the alligator? Oh, boy. And like starts to show us how to do the alligator. Oh, and this lady's probably pushing 70. It's just a little old lady. Uh, clearly a smoker has that smoker voice, yeah. you know, weighs like, you know, 80 pounds. So, uh, soaking wet. She then drops to the floor. Oh, <laughs> and they drop something else. No, she drops to the floor <laughs> doing this alligator dance. And, and when she's on, the, it's like a, a matrix move where like she's face up kind of thing. And she's got her, she's kind of like crab walking, if that makes any sense. Oh, and she's like showing us and she's all proud. And Nick goes, you ever get tea bag doing that? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so we we thought there's no way she's gonna know what the fuck a tea bag. Yeah. Oh god, she was great. She didn't stop to the point where like the manager came over and was like, "Hey, we got customers here." Oh damn! Did you throw a dollar at her at least? It was your bachelor party. <laughs> Should have. Yeah, at seventy, you could throw a quarter. <laughs> yeah, throw a nickel at her. <laughs> yeah, it's really true. hard. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Um, we started at Fall Brewing and just kind of made our way down 30th Street, weaved a little bit, you know, hit North Park. Uh, I, one of my friends was there, Deanna. She's like, Hey, I brought Adderall. And I was like, great idea. We're going to fucking need it. <laughs> so like we split it in Adderall, which is all you need. And I think that was a mistake cause I'm not 22 anymore. And it hit me. Well, you know, like it, it keeps you going longer, which I found out later also makes it so the booze doesn't hit you as quickly. Oh yeah. Cause like your body's up and it's like basically taking meth. Yeah, that, and uh, <laughs> that was the problem with Four Loco. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and it, it all hit me at one point, and the rest of the night doesn't exist. Like, 
people started telling me what happened. Nothing. Like you could have like totally raped me. It, I wouldn't have had any idea. We uh, apparently. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Shannon. <laughs> he doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah. So we ended up at this like dive you bar. It's the last thing I remember. We did a couple of shots, which was a horrible idea. And then apparently our last stop was Modern Times, and we walked in. They're like, "Yeah, I don't think we could serve you full pours." <laughs> and Nick's like, "Why not?" And then turns around, and it's me and Deanna just like staggering. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, so I somehow we made it back to the house we're all staying at. I immediately went to bed with shoes and and shorts on and everything. Uh, the lady friend gets back from her night, not nearly as hammered as I am. And like tries to take off my shoes. I guess at one point I'm like, leave them on, like getting mad at her. And then she finally gets one off and I kind of like wake up and look. And this is all what I've been told. I remember none of it. And like I look at her and I go, uh, what you doing down there? <laughs> She's like, taking off your goddamn shoes. Oh, <laughs> uh, Dan is passed out on the couch. Nick, on the other hand, has our other friend who's not super drunk, just bringing him beer after beer. Oh, damn. <laughs> so he's hammered out on the patio. Oh, it was a good time. And then uh, Sunday, we, we had to even things out because we woke up a little uh, worse for wear. Yeah, so, I bet. Yeah, we hit up Helix and Sour Works and had some beers and ate a shit ton of food, and, and it was delicious. So uh, that was that was San Diego in a nutshell. God dang. Mm-hmm. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I didn't drink for a week after that. Oh, really? Yeah, I had a wow. beer that Monday because it was my birthday and I felt obligated to, and then I didn't drink again until Friday night. Wow. Uh, whew. Quitter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 kind of felt like a quitter, so. Uh, but no, no grievances. Anybody? Any grievances? Anything to share? Anything nah, we should I, talk about? Some hair fell off my face. Yeah, we should talk about the <laughs> lack of hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This child molester walked into the house. Yeah. And I was like, "Who is this?" <laughs> Premature yeah. baldness on the chin. There. Yeah. I know, man. No, I don't know. I just, uh, I had been like trimming it, like kind of short, honestly. And I mm-hmm. was looking in the mirror. I was like, "God, like I really liked it when it was nice and full." Yeah. And at this point, like it was already kind of cut short, so I was like. And then it was starting to get kind of gray, which was my thing, too. I thought, well, I was going to grow it, you know, because, you know, I wanted to see what it looked like before it got gray. Right. No offense. No offense. Mine's um, gray as hell when it, goes, when it grows out. <laughs> oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just, I am going to grow it out. But before I do that, I'm going to shave it off. So I was like, you know what? Let me just shave it off and remember what I look like under here. <laughs> get some headshots done. You yeah, know. there yeah. you go. <laughs> new, new picture for your match.com uh, account. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? And then I show up. <laughs> Look like, like Grizzly Adams. Yeah. <laughs> Show up looking like James Harden. Like, who is this? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh my That's God. a more current reference. Yeah. Thank you very much. Or who was the dude that was on the Clippers? Why can't I think of his name? Uh, the even bigger beard. Oh, man. You know who I'm talking about? No. Kind of fizzled out. <laughs> All right. Somebody's going to tweet at me. Be like, this guy. Yeah. Uh, start with a B. I feel think? like that should be on like, what does Dan know? It should have been. Yeah. Who's the guy really? with the big beard on the Clippers? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, somebody let me know. Yeah. Totally Not me, who. No, not Mio. No, this is like Mio wasn't old enough to grow a beard. This is yet. well over five. This is probably like eight to ten years. Ago. Oh, that oh long shit! Ago. Oh, yeah, that's a while ago. Yeah, nobody knew the Clippers existed. Eight, yeah, 10 years <laughs> ago. yeah. This is pre bomber. This is this is racist Clippers. Oh, Donald Sterling. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. Oh, can we touch? Can we talk about Bomber though? His press conference was epic. His press conference? Yeah, he's like. We got Kawhi. Yeah. We're really excited. <laughs> Who's excited? We're going to win some basketball here. That's coke. how he greets his mailman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to move us to Seattle. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did I say that out loud? Oh, oh, oh you we know, know that's the plan. Yeah, you know he's going to. It's okay with me. Yeah. Go, for Go for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're tired of looking at your selfies hanging up in the arena <laughs> yeah. next to our championship banners, bitches. <laughs> Uh, well, that's funny, but like I was thinking, like uh, I don't know, I might keep it like this for a little bit, at least until like uh, the razor, you know, is like you know, at least the first razor, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't want to just use it and then throw right. it out. Yeah, that's like a seven dollar like, razor. Yeah, they're expensive, yeah. man. So I'm gonna at least use that and finish it off, and then I'll decide because I don't know, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about it. Surprisingly, I shaved it off and then immediately regretted it. Honestly. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what did I do? Did your dog look at you funny? No, but my niece did. <laughs> She was like, oh, shit, <laughs> like on her face. just Stranger like, danger. Yeah, and she like went back into my mom's shoulder like, oh, get away. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. My brother said, he was like, hey, it looks like you cleaned up your act finally. <laughs> like, Thanks. It's like, no, it's just me shaving. That's right, all it yeah. is. I'm no, still a mess. Still a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like wanted and trying to change your look? Oh, it would work. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's true. I, I recognize did, you. I did get carded over the weekend. and they There were you look, go. They were looking oh, yeah. at me. They were like. 
I'm like, no, I swear it's me because <laughs> like, I got a beard on my license. So anytime, and it's been years, but anytime I shave clean, and I get nowhere near your length. Like the length, the longest I ever goes, Brian, and I don't even go that long. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. Anytime I, I, I shave clean, I do get carded. And I just want to like point up to my receding hairline and go, really? Do you think an 18-year-old's losing hair like this? You got nature's ID right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my favorite is people go, are you 21? It's like, are you really questioning? And if you are, then fucking ask for my ID. <laughs> Stupid. I will say, I have met people that were in high school and were bald. Like, I mean, and not by choice. Like, I mean, just losing their hair already. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, man. Like, quietly to myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> as, I, you know, as I ignored what was Oops, happening. Was that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like but, bomber there. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I was. Holy shit, man. But I did kind of think, like, man, I, think, I bet they don't get carded. There's no way. You know I do. I, mean? ah. I feel like I shouldn't get carded. Interesting. But I, and I'd understand if I was wearing a hat and clean shaven, you couldn't see the line. But right. clean shaven, no hat. It's like. Hello, people. Yeah. No, I got, I'm talking I'm like Alex Caruso status. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, I can always tell if it, uh, there's a new waitress or waiter or whatever because you know, they have to go by the rules because mm-hmm. they're new. Yeah. And they'll ask for my ID. That's true. That's always And, and they get an extra tip, of course. Yeah. That. I bet. Yeah. Here's your extra quarter, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't spit it on one place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, all right, anybody else? We we good? We feeling good? I think that's it. Yeah, doing well. Nice. Well, we have a contest to talk about. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eight one eight brewing in Canoga Park, California. Those of you in SoCal know what yeah. I'm talking about. We've done a live show there. Mm-hmm. Uh, their anniversary party for your anniversary party is coming up on eight eighteen. Makes sense. Eight one eight, and they are. It's a ticketed event. There's two sessions throughout the day. They're going to have some special release beers, DJs, food. It's going to be a party. Oh man, we're giving away a pair of tickets. <gasps> Can yeah. I win them? <laughs> <laughs> what does Dan know? Yeah. <laughs> if you get five or five. Yeah. Uh, we're giving away a pair of tickets. So check out our Instagram feed. There's going to be details on how you can win those. That's going to be going up on Wednesday. That'll go up on Wednesday. Excuse me, Thursday. I got my dates all mixed up. Thursday, yeah. August 8th will be the Instagram post at the Unfiltered Gentleman. Go check it out. Winner will be chosen on Monday, August 12th, and then announced on next week's show on August 13th. So it uh, sounds like a lot of details. The main detail to remember is Thursday, August 8th. Check out our uh, Instagrams, and there'll be details on how you can win. It'll be simple. It's just Instagram stuff. So, No dick pics. No dick pics. Oops. You will be automatically disqualified, and your address will be sent to Scott. He loves dick pics. Oh, man. Send oh, them my way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send them to Greg after he's been to San Diego. Oh. <laughs> he it's won't true. remember. So. Uh, so, yeah. So shout out to the guys at 818, and happy four years. August 8th. Do not forget. All right, nothing like uh, being the summer and having a sports show. Thank God we don't. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of sports news going on, there's except going uh, on. Vince Carter is about to turn 43, and he just re-signed with the Hawks, so there's that. Uh, but instead of sports news, we're going to play a rousing round. Rousing. Of what does Dan know? In a land far, <laughs> far away, in a time where nothing is certain, only one person, one man... One gentle man has what it takes to answer the questions that no one else can. The questions that no one else cares about. It's time to find out. What does Dan know? I missed that intro. Oh, man. So epic. That's beautifully done. Who produced that? Uh, You know, I had a B.O. guy, and then I put it together. And What can I say? Sorry. Uh, so for those that don't know, Dan knows everything there is to know about 90s hip hop, basketball, and movie quotes, especially 90s movies quote, <laughs> movie quotes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. He's always dropping quotes and I just smile and nod like he's <laughs> speaking another language because I'm a, not a movie watcher and he, he's got some deep cuts. So mm-hmm. this is a game we put together. We haven't played it in probably like a year. It feels like it's been a it's, long time. It may have been longer. It could have been. And, uh, so we got some sports quotes. Potential sports questions, movie questions, and hip hop questions from the '90s, including clips. So the first one is a clip where Dan has to identify this song. Coolio, Fantastic Voyage. Yeah, dude, you got to give him a hard one. <laughs> first she of all, said. yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I like to start off easy, lull him into a false sense of uh, false sense of security. That's exactly. usually what happens. Yeah, lure yeah. him in, and then boom. Mm-hmm. What does OPP mean? Other people's 
And the last is not so simple. Penis? <laughs> Let's uh, say it stands for property. Uh, okay, well, that's the unofficial answer. Yeah. I think uh, I, I have a feeling he knows. Uh, the next one is another clip. This one also another uh, hip hop song from the nineties. Funk. Oh, uh, you want to answer for me? <laughs> well, it's too easy. Yeah, I karaoke that one. Oh wow! <laughs> Warren G. Regulate. This is like my favorite song back. Warren G. Featuring Nate Doe. Rest right. in peace. Oh yeah. Movie quote. What movie? And bonus points if you can give me the character. Who rattled your cage, dickhead? Oh, shit. Rattled your ca- Who oh, rattled man. your cage, dickhead? Damn it. I don't know. Raymond. Oh! White men can't jump. There it is. White men can't jump. Yes. Oh, man. This is one of the easier ones. Yeah, that was a good one. I mean, not that specific question, but this is one of the easier rounds. And then finally, here's the last clip that you must have your cage, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, big pun. <laughs> Still not a player. Featuring. Oh, Joe. There it is. You know, I, I can actually name that song from the first piano tone. I thought you might be able to. Yeah. I swear to God. You, you just put thunk. I go, oh, shit. I know what it is. Name that tune. I need yeah. one note. That's all I need on that one. That thunk. I, I try to make it like as quick as possible. So I just took the. Ooh, and like that was yeah. it. And I was like, hopefully it's not enough. Oh man, yeah, just that first tone. I swear, it's all I need. Yeah, the song clips are too easy for you. They are, but they're more fun. They are for yeah. the listener at home, at least. And I, I appreciate the kind of like the low hanging fruit on this one because we got some <laughs> really hard ones before. We man. have. We had slow pain. Nobody even knows who fucking slow pain <laughs> is, man. Ridiculous. You know, I had a, I had a mutual friend help me put together yeah. this list of songs, and I was going through, and I, like I mark off every time I use one, so I don't reuse it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, who do I feel like listening to? And I I did it. I was like, this might be a little easy, but I want to listen to all these songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Warren G. Oh yeah, for sure. So good. So all right, well that was what does Dan know, and he knew most of it. So uh, I failed, I guess, at putting together that game. <laughs> uh, no real sports to talk about, like I said, unless I'm missing. Did I, did I miss any good sports? News. The no. Dodgers are killing it. I was gonna say. I mean, yeah. being from LA, we can. Other than that, harp on the Dodgers. Right, we'd kick we kick an ace, kick an ace. Yeah, they lost their first game to the Rockies, and then it's all been uphill from there. It was yeah, really embarrassing. I mean, they lost yeah. the Rockies. They lost the Angels. They can't beat the Angels for some reason. Yeah, and it's their typical it's weird post All Star slide that they always go on for like a couple of weeks, and yeah. then they, they pick shit back up. So, but yeah, they're I mean, good right now. Even mm-hmm. before that, when they played the Angels in Anaheim, they couldn't beat them. It's so weird. It's like the Lakers and Because I want to be Spurs. Angel fan so bad, but they just really suck. So They really do suck. Yeah. And it's like they try to suck. It seems like it. Yeah. I mean, they still have Albert Pujols at 122 years old playing first base. and Right. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah. Best, he like only- best player in the world, though, and they can't put together a team around him. <laughs> He was. I mean, yeah. You mean Mike Trout? No, I mean Mike Trout. Oh, Trout. I oh, think yeah. about Pujols. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Trout. Definitely. That's kind of hard when you like, oh, half a country to Albert Pujols, I, basically. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, they're so bad. I feel sorry for Trout. I'm like, yeah. dude, I mean, if well, you he, stay here, you're never going to have. Why did he resign? Hey, he, it's you know, true. He's true to his team, I guess. Or he knew that's where Plus the money was. Yeah, huge money. I yeah, mean, $430 million. Yeah, when Machado signed his $400 true million dollar contract, Trout sent him a thank you note saying, I'll get mine now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm fucking better than you. Yeah, if Machado's worth that, then what's yeah, Trout no worth? Shit. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's uh, our breaking There's sports, our sports news. news for the day. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, Old timey word of the week Nashnab hmm? with the G. Nashnab. Someone who complains all the time. Oh. Yeah. Nash Nab. Nash Nab. <laughs> hmm. Which is interesting. You know, like Nash complained about his back hurting all the time. So <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> maybe that's where it came from. Nash Nab. Uh, all right. Let's class things up over here. This one's a classy dame with a great palate. It's Beer Babe of the Week. Our Beer Babe of the Week is Steph. And you can follow her at Steph Degusta, all Degusta. one word, yeah, S T E F D E G U S T A. Steph Degusta. I would tell you what she's drinking, but uh, the caption's all in Spanish, and 
No habla espanol. Dan? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so, wow. That's pretty hot. Uh, yeah, she's at. Uh, <laughs> I, I can I can read some sort of international festival of beer or oh, some man. international beer festival. Uh, that's all I got there. So let me see. I habla oh, some go. espanol. Let's see if oh, I can figure it sorry, out. Sorry, I just closed it. Let me open oh, it back. That's up. all right. Oh. Opening up, Steph Degusta, who you should be following. Yeah, you should on the grams. I'm gonna co-sign here, that already. <laughs> here we go. The whitest guy in the room is gonna see if he can translate for us. There is something about International Festival of Beers. I got that much. It's kind of the most important part. How's this working for us? No, I'm done. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> sorry. I thought I had it in me, but no. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh God, I was. Hoping that wouldn't happen. Okay. How many times am I going to set him up for you to knock him down to? Oh, man. Mm. Thanks for being here. Yeah. All right. We have <laughs> that's what we get regular. for putting on the office down there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The little, pre-warm-up studio yeah, there. Yeah, that's the last time we do that. Uh, all right. We have a listener email. It's titled, Will Scott Poured Out. Uh-oh. Gentlemen, what a great twist. Mm-hmm. Tricking Scott with the 0.0. This begs the question, would you rather drink gross beer with lots of alcohol or delicious beer with zero percent oh, cheers travis no brainer <laughs> gotta take the alcohol right yeah oh, absolutely gotta, at least you know you're drinking beer at that point yeah. so you're taking the gross beer with the alcohol mm-hmm. that's a hard one don't say it <laughs> that is a <laughs> difficult situation to choose my way out of i don't know how gross are we talking i, I mean yeah, talking i guess like- disgusting like gross, not not like Bud Light, like actually gross, like nasty tasting beer. I guess it also right. depends on what I'm going for. If I'm just looking for something to pair with my dinner, I'm going to go with the 0.0 that tastes good. Yeah, if, you know, but I think uh, if you drink the disgusting beer that has alcohol in it, at least you can say, oh, I've had that. It was terrible. Like, you yeah. should try it. It's like the worst beer ever. Like, <laughs> at least you can have that badge of honor. There's no, like, pride in drinking the... The zero percent beer that tastes great, like oh, it tastes great, but there's just no alcohol in it. Yeah, you can't brag to people about that. It's the Firestone one. What was it? Oh God, uh, Storm, uh, Dark and Stormy, or uh, Stormy Daniels, as we called around here. Stormy <laughs> Daniels. Oh God, that was about the grossest beer I've ever had. Wow, plenty of alcohol though. It, yes, I think it was like twelve percent. Yeah. 12% of go. Uh, liquefied throw up. Yeah, in my mouth. And, and at least at the at worst comes to worst, at least you get drunk. I guess, but I had to plug and chug with that one. Like a, Brian had it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Did you plug and chug? Yeah. I mean, we drank it. Yeah. I, we got look, through it. For the amount of money I spent, I wasn't pouring it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I remember trying it and then texting him like, have you had this yet? No, it's in our fridge. It's awful. And then he, he immediately opened up and tried it. So I got to See, I got to try it. Yeah. I yeah. got to try it. It's the worst badge of honor I've ever earned. <laughs> it was so bad. So uh, thank you, Travis. If you guys want to send in an email, it's theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. All right, we have a bullpen beer to get to that we uh, need to start distributing. Here, give this to those two over there to split. We'll split this one. In the meantime, we will start talking about some news until it's all poured out. Here's our straw. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is time for booze news. Some sad news in local beer. Uh, here in the SoCal region, are we all fans of Fig Mountain around here? Are we all at least have oh, yeah. Fig Mountain. Uh, here you go, Brian. The founder or half the founding team, the patriarch Jim. I'm going to mess up his last name. Dietenhofer passed away from cancer last Nailed week. It. Yeah, got it. Uh, <laughs> passed away from cancer last week. So, Ooh. so our condolences to the uh, yeah. Fig Mountain family over there. They've got some great beer. If you guys ever want uh, just an absolute delicious coffee ale. Check out their Zero to Sexy. It is absolutely phenomenal. Sounds sexy. It is. So, so sexy. Uh, Boston beer shipments are up 17% in quarter two, but uh, a lot of that is thanks to Truly, their hard seltzer. Has anybody had a, a Truly yet or White Claw? or? I have. And? It's not terrible. I, it's not beer. It's not. I hate that they classified as beer. That being said, I've been drinking some. Hey, man, I've had a Zima. <laughs> so, I actually have not had a Zima. Neither have I. Exactly what is it? So it's basically a boozy LaCroix. You ever had the LaCroix, the bubbly waters, the flavored bubbly waters? I have not. Okay. Well, then this is going to fall on deaf ears. Yeah, so never mind. Uh, yeah, that is I beer. withdraw the question. Yeah, so it's boozy LaCroix. I think it's classified as beer, and Brian might know more of this than I do, uh, because it's fermented. It's whatever... 
they make it out of, which is mostly sugar, is fermented. And then that's your final product. It's not like they mix something with vodka. You know, it's not like LaCroix and vodka mixed together to make a seltzer. It's fermented. So my guess is that's why it's classified as beer. I don't think it should be classified as beer. Uh, The nice thing about them is uh, I think it's got like one carb. So for those of you uh, weirdo keto people like me, if you want to kind of keep it under control during the week, pretty good. I drink LaCroix. I think those are pretty good. And this is just like a boozy version of it. I don't mind them at all. There's some flavors that are better than others, but I don't mind them at all. They're not like super fruity. It's not like drinking a fucking Sculpin or something. (laughs) Just a hint of fruit. It's not like a wine cooler or... No, no, yeah. it's not you know, like wine it's coolers. Not sweet. Yeah, wine coolers are sweet. Yeah, this is just like a little bit of fruit flavor, like just a smidge, hmm. and uh, a little bit of booze, and then bubbles, basically. Hmm. So uh, we I'll should try. have some on the yeah, show I'm, at some I'll, point. I'm game. Will Scott Port? Oh, Colgan yeah. uh, drinks some. Does he? Yes, he does. Oh, he's racist as hell. Oops. <laughs> Which ones does he drink? Do we know? I have no idea. Probably the white. Probably clock. the white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We well, got to remind us of that. <laughs> White Claw, brother. Yeah, like, isn't wrestling trying to fade that out? <laughs> yeah. But we'll always remember that. Yeah, they're they're doing their best. So, mm-hmm. uh, All right, I think everyone's got their beer poured. Let's make it call the pen. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Yes, he does. This one comes by way of Central California. It's Slow Brews Asloha. A play on Aloha. IPA. 6.2%, 60 IBUs. Has a... Oh, excuse me. I was reading the wrong thing. 6.5%, 25 IBUs. Has a 3.67 on untapped. Not enough ratings on Beer Advocate. They say embrace the spirit of Aloha and get swept away in an island paradise as waves of New Zealand Matiku hop. Have you heard of this? Motueka, I think. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. You're not even reading anything. I am. Uh, hops bring light notes of citrus and tropical fruit. This crushable, unfiltered IPA is a great way to unwind and take it slow. See what they did there? Slow, because it's slow. Okay. No Love comment. Her. Has anybody had this before? Have you had this? No, I haven't had this one. I just saw this at the store. I went. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll try it. We like some slow brew here. So uh, everyone's sampling it. What do we think of the uh, a slow ha? I don't get a lot of taste, okay. to be honest. Let me, let me get in on I mean, this. It's just me. It's, it's that typical hazy ipa vague citrus like could be grapefruit could be yeah you know it yep it's not bad uh, it's not a drain pour yeah no it, it's oh yeah fine. no i mean you're gonna drink it yeah <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. yeah there's alcohol in it. Right? yeah it's a little bit smoother than the first one we had oh yeah, yeah it is a little lighter yeah yeah mm. definitely goes down a little easier i don't think the flavor is as good as the first one uh Agreed. yeah you're right no, i'd agree with you on that. it's very ambiguous it's yeah. like Maybe it's just kind of an odd pairing because the other one was so bold. Could be. And then this one's kind of so like maybe we could had this be, yeah. crushable. Yeah. So are we gonna say a slow ha to it, or are we gonna say a slow ha to it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my friend's uh, having a baby, so I'm working on my dad jokes. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh yeah. So Very it, good dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. You know, like three on untapped. I'd say. I don't know. Three two five, maybe. That's pretty harsh. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, three two five. I give them a three and a half. I think they're rated about right. Yeah, I just I know I like some of their beers like a lot, and this is just eh, it's fine. It's it's there. It's a beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very ambiguous. Got to do a hazy. Yeah, it's kind of what it what it seems like. So yeah, everybody's got to do that. Yeah, everybody in the club getting hazy. <laughs> Wait, that's not how it goes. So, uh, all right, back to the news. Um, stock stockholder a stockholder not multiple a stockholder is alleging that ab artificially inflated share prices the city of sterling heights general employees retirement system has accused anheuser-busch of a scheme to artificially inflate its shares uh the system filed a complaint against ab with with the u.s district court for the southern district of new york on june 21st claiming the world's largest beer manufacturer violated the securities and exchange act uh, the plaintiff alleges that when AB InBev, excuse me, when InBev acquired Anheuser Busch in 2008, words are hard, it caused substantial debt for AB, despite telling investors that they were developing, uh, they were deliver, wow, deleveraging Anheuser Busch in a manner that was consistent with the company's internal targets. So basically, they lied to people. And big shock, it's Budweiser in layman's term. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, there's that. Facebook is trying to keep the man down. They're imposing new alcohol restrictions 
Facebook announced a policy to restrict alcohol and tobacco related content. A company spokesman told CNN that the new policy blocks private sales, trades, transfers, and gifting of these products on Facebook and Instagram. Content related to the sale or transfer of such products will be limited to those over 18. While Facebook Marketplace already bans alcohol and tobacco sales, this new policy will target posts by private users using a combination of te- technology, human review, wow, human review, and reports from our community to find and remove any content that violates these policies. Thus, the new restriction will apply to sales between private users under age 18 in Facebook beer trading groups. I looked a little bit more into this. If you have one of these groups, you have to like declare yourself as an alcohol or tobacco or whatever, and then okay. you won't be allowed to have anybody under 18 in there. It seems like it's not a big deal, because why would you want kids in your beer group anyway? Exactly. It just sounds like trouble. So, Yeah, I was just thinking, do I have to get out of the monkish trading group, but I guess I can stay in? Yeah, you just have to yeah. kick all those kids out. I think that kind of helps then, I guess, right? It gets like, like you know, prevents sales to minors. I yeah. Just, I just want them to stop uh, listening to my conversations and sending me targeted ads. Exactly. That's not going like, to happen. Stop spying on me, Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, like, hey, you might know this person. It's like, how the fuck do you know? Yeah. <laughs> I have Facebook that like has like no name, like I, no people. Like it, like it's just strictly for that My Vegas app. Yeah. Do you still play that, by the way? And, and sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have so much money now. It's right. ridiculous. But anyways, like, <laughs> but they'll always ask you me. You can afford hey. a razor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might need one. <laughs> He's going to start getting Gillette ads. Yeah. 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 But but they always ask me, like, hey, you might know this person. It's like, how do you know? I don't have any fucking friends. Like, that is weird. It's so fucking Like, it makes creepy. sense when it gives me suggestions. Yeah. You know, I have whatever friends. It's like, mm. oh, you may know this person because you have two mutual friends in right. common. But when you don't have any friends, that's fucking and weird. my name is Dan Vegas on there. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. It's not even my name, dude. Now like, we know. It's so weird. Vinny Vegas. It's like, how do you know, you fucking creepy bastards? <laughs> that, that is creepy. Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Mm-hmm. And then finally, have you guys heard of John Hickenlooper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you? Yeah, he's the uh, Colorado, I think he was a former governor. Or he created some kind of craft beer brew pub. Yeah. He said Whoa. it was the world's largest brew pub, which I find kind of hard to believe. But. Yeah, that's hilariously wrong. Uh, the whole world's largest thing. But yeah, he did uh, create the Wincoop Brewing Company or founded it. And he's running for president, as is every other Democrat right now. <laughs> and uh, he released an ad this week featuring Left Hand Brewing founder Eric Wallace and Stone Brewing co-founder Greg Koch. Coach Koch? I feel like I get it wrong every time. I just don't even want to try because I'm afraid of saying something yeah. that won't go You mean there. cock? <laughs> <laughs> it really is cock, isn't it? <laughs> Greg Koch. Uh, anyways, he released an ad this week with those guys and more uh, asking for your support. Here it is. As a successful governor, mayor, and craft brewer, I understand America's crisis of division. But we can't let easy IPAs and pastry stouts divide our nation any longer. We can't let partisan politics divide us either. The fact is, I'm the only presidential candidate with 16 years of exceptional success working with Democrats and Republicans and ale and lager yeast. <laughs> we need I'm a voting. president yeah. who has created balanced budgets and balanced beers. We need a president to tackle climate change and a contemporary Belgian-style goose lamp. Yeah. I want to bring my proven experience and the bridge-building collaborative spirit of craft beer to the White House. Can you help me do it? Yep. You'll guarantee that I'm in the presidential debates in Detroit and America's beer culture is there too. I want a president who understands health care and a South German style Hefeweizen. We need a president. I want a president. 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 We need a president. A president whose only ties to Moscow are Imperial Russian styles. Yeah. That was, that was great bring coach. Harmony, though. hope, and hops to Washington. So who's voting for John Hickman? Right here. <laughs> I'm in. That's what I figured. You got uh, you. I'm on board. Yeah, bringing hope and hops to Washington. I'm going to get my bumper sticker. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Sorry. I, was he drunk when he recorded that? I hope so. <laughs> what a psycho. The beginning sounded a little rapey. Also, <laughs> if I'm being like, honest. Did he pay the Black Keys for that song or what? Doubtful. Like, 
I'm sure that was completely ripped off. That was a YouTube download. Yeah, I don't know what that backing track was, but like it looked, it was like a trailer for an action movie or something. Yeah, starring The Rock. It, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard it in a Ford commercial before. Oh yeah, it does sound very familiar. It does. So. How dare that asshole pull on my heartstrings trying to get a vote? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You knew where to go. Yeah. He also, I don't think anyone understands a South German Hefeweizen. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, John. No, yeah. I only want North German Hefeweizens, you asshole. <laughs> Make so. America drunk again. There we go. That's my man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. What's his name? I don't know, exactly. man. Sorry. I don't want this guy stumbling all around the UN or wherever the fuck. Yeah. Well, and his last name is a fucking drunk test. Hickenlooper. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Come on, man. If you can President say my name, you're not drinking enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's our main concern right now in America is beer. <laughs> yeah, you know we make it seem that way, but come on, let's get let's get real here. It's the biggest concern in this room. Yep, that's right. That's for certain. So, all right, that's all I got. Anybody else? Anything we should talk about? Mm-hmm. I think we're good. Uh, don't forget the contest with eight one eight that I think I made sound far more complicated than it's really going to be. <laughs> uh, just go to our Instagrams on uh, August eighth at the Unfiltered Gentleman. All the details and the very simple process of basically just uh, making sure you're following us and 818 and all that good stuff will be there on the grams. Brian, thank you for joining. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, don't forget to find us on the unfilteredgentleman.com, at the unfiltered gentleman on social media, except for Twitter, at unfiltered gents. The number, 805 538 beer. It's 2337. And I think that's it for us. So thanks for listening. And I hope everyone out there is staying very well hydrated. And on that note, Good night, everybody.